Hi, my name is Joe Anderson. I'm an information officer on Ponson's National Incident Management Team. Today we're at Thatcher, Arizona at the Incident Command Post for the Fry Fire. And we're going to take a mini tour and give a brief explanation of the different offices and functions that help support the firefighters. As we first enter uh, ICP or camp or incident command post, we run into information in case you need to know what, what's going on, and we have security. It's important that every camp, ICP, has security to make sure that our firefighters are safe and protected. As we can start our tour, after we end up through security, we end up at an office. This, like I said, we're in a school, but most of the time we would be out in the field in what is called a yurt. So you just have to assume either one of those. We come into an office that has plans, resources, check-in, demob, documentation, or training. As we enter the, this office, or yurt, we see how the people are functioning and working behind us. They have the computers, so they're checking people in. They're getting ready to demobilize people that are leaving the fire and uh, taking care of the plans and all the documentation that's taking place. On our second stop of the tour, we were going to stop at financing and equipment. Everybody gets checked in, everybody's going to get paid, and this is how we keep records of that. In the, finance, in the finance area, we have um, the folks that are recording the timesheets for the equipment, for the personnel, and for supplies. This is the ordering office and logistics office, and they're filling orders from the line uh, to get equipment up to the firefighters. This is the human resource office. And this is the human resource officer, and he is the mitigator uh, for issues that come up in between four firefighters. Inside the medical unit, they, they support the health needs of the firefighters in the camp and up on a line. In the information office, they distribute information through the social media, Facebook, uh, NC Web, Twitter, and they also distribute paper information to the different communities so that all are informed of what the, the progress of the fire. In this office, we have incident and meteorologists and fire behavior specialists who work together to give information to the firefighters. In this office, we have situation and they're the ones that make the plan, the daily plan and the weekly plans and we also have the map making personnel. In this office we have operations, safety and air operations. These are the folks that take the plans and then put them in daily operations for the folks that are out on the fire. This is one of the really important places because this is where the people eat. This is the caterer. Behind me is the information board. As the firefighters line up to eat, they will look at the information and they want to find out about what's happening around the area and what's happening on the other fires throughout the United States. This area is the supply area. So when we order things, it comes into supply and we station them here for them to be picked up. When the firefighters end their shift, and come down for the evening, they end up putting their tents up and sleeping.
This is ground support that takes care of all the transportation needs related to the fire. This is a shower unit that is provided for this camp and the firefighters. This concludes our tour of a typical fire camp. All this is needed to support the firefighters who are up near the flames.